So this beautiful guy is a morpho butterfly. And one of my favorite things about it is that you can see this metallic shimmery blue, but there's actually no blue pigment. This is a result of structural color. So these butterflies actually have these little nanostructures on their wings where light comes in and it actually bounces back at the blue wavelength. And this is a really beautiful example of structural color. You can do a little experiment to demonstrate this structural property by placing a drop of isopropanol onto a morpho wing. You'll notice that the color immediately shifts to green, but as the wing dries, the color shifts back to its original iridescent blue. This is because the alcohol interferes with the microscopic structures and shifts the wavelength of light reflecting off the wing from blue to green, that is, until it evaporates. On the other hand, warmer colors are often caused by genes that code for pigments. In this heliconius butterfly wing, the orange is produced by omochromes, the yellows from kynurinine, and the blacks from melanin. I know this is a really cool example of a different kind of structural color. It's actually the opposite of color. This is a transparent winged butterfly. And so you can see that light just sort of passes through and you can even still see my eye through it. So there are these patches of color. So this butterfly is able to produce these pigments that create these little eye spots in yellow and brown. But there are these transparent regions, kind of like glass windows. And so I'm interested in how does the butterfly create little nanostructures that just allow light to pass through. It's really interesting, and I don't think we really fully understand how these animals achieve transparency. Part of researching these elaborate nanostructures requires high magnification, so I've started using a foldable microscope to take a closer look at the wings without leaving the field. Here I'm investigating a blushing phantom butterfly, and I'm able to zoom in on those microscopic scales over 140 times with just the fold scope and my cell phone. As technology becomes cheaper and more portable, scientists can take their equipment out into the field to do research and make discoveries in real time. Living organisms display fantastic variation in their colors, which play important roles in their survival, communication, and reproduction. And yet we still have a lot to learn about how biology creates colors, whether it's through pigment production, nanostructure formation, or some combination of both.